is now being used for a cover up for the biggest arrest in the history of this country. Now, let me break all of this down. Like I said, I have all the indictments. I have everything on my website. Go subscribe to youngfrail.net. Go watch the COVID-19 lecture. You can watch the one I did before, and tonight it'll be updated, and it'll be a whole new one. And so with that being said, family, we're going to jump right into this. Um, what the COVID-19 is, is it's a, a hybrid virus that was created by these elites, but, you know, for the sake of this conversation, we're going to call them the deep state. Deep state would be like Freemasons, the Satanists, Illuminati, all these motherfuckers. And so what happened was they created a, a virus, right? A hybridized virus from bad blood that normally is not deadly as a, a pathogen to humans. And they, uh, they cross, they cross engineered it with SARS and then they use hella cells, which are human cells that stay, uh, consciously alive after death. And so they use these hella cells to allow the virus to learn how to bind from animal to human cells. Okay. In order to affect the respiratory system of specific humans. Now I broke down how we are all not the same species. We have extraterrestrial DNA. Some people on this planet have been genetically engineered. So to be respectful to all people, I just call us humanoid species. So, you know, it's not about being racist, it's about just acknowledging the diversity of genetic life. Now, what makes this virus so deadly to a specific race and group and blood type of people is because they have 98% uh, primate DNA as well as 84% canine DNA. And this virus naturally exists within certain animals. So when it hits a certain species of people on this planet Earth, it, 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 it's, it's like it's right at home because it's used to being in a certain form of cells and DNA, which is animal-based. And so this is why it's harder for black people to be affected by the coronavirus than it is other people. I'll just say that. And so with that being said, uh, I broke all this down in the lecture. I showed the blood types and everything. So go, go to youngfro.net. But keeping it moving, right? I got to give y'all the backstory. Okay, so what happened was in 2001, after 9-11 happened, which we all know was an inside job, um, 200 military generals came together, and they began to investigate the deep state, the deep state, they carried the secret societies, the Illuminati, all these types of people. And so what happened was George Bush was still in office. We know that George Bush is skull and bones. Anybody who pays attention, you know that the five-point stars on the flag were right side up. When George Bush came in, uh, whatchamacallit, they made the Republican Party symbols upside down because George Bush is a Freemason. The doctrine of Freemasonry is chaos from order and the god of Freemasonry is Lucifer and the upside down pentagram is symbolic to representing uh, Satan or Lucifer within this cult. And so the uh, 200 military generals and other, you know, authority figures within these intelligence agencies began to investigate the deep state, secret society, Illuminati, all these motherfuckers, all the conspiracy shit. And so... Uh, George Bush was, of course, not a trusted president. So this information was never uh, pursued with him in office. Obama is a part of the deep state. And he's the, he, you know, he helped run this country into the ground as opposed to, despite to what most you fools want to believe, especially black people. So, of course, this, these, these matters couldn't be pursued with him. So they tried to get Hillary in there, who's also a part of the deep state and the Freemasonic agenda. Uh, but she ended up losing to Trump. And Trump came in. And no matter what y'all want to believe about Trump, Trump, he may not be the perfect human being, but Trump is not a part of the deep state. And so these, these generals and these agencies, you know, felt comfortable with Trump to bring this information to his attention and to pursue it. And so from 2017 of uh, October to uh, 2020, last month, February, over 150,000 secret or excuse me, sealed indictments have went out. Now, let me tell y'all why this is so massive before I continue. On average, 1,000 to 1,100, a.k.a. 1,100 indictments, sealed indictments go out a year. So in three years max, it should have been no more than 3,300 sealed indictments, maybe 3,500. For, for over 150,000, okay, and I have the exact number in the PowerPoint, for over 150,000 sealed indictments to go out in just three years, that's a 14,000% that's a you know, increase in the average rate of indictments, okay? So that's more than, that's more than uh, a thousand. For those of you that, that, that need a figure, a, a, minute, a minute figure, that's 14,000% increase, okay? That's a thousand times 14%. Now, uh, whatchamacallit, they try to finesse and, and impeach Trump. They try to, you know, make him look crazy in the media and things like that to get him out of there so hopefully they can get somebody like Hillary in there that would have carried out this plan.